One, two, three, four, five. Here's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Well, finally. Are we okay now, Ralph? Yep, we're good. Okay, David, I'm out of here. Call me if you need me, okay? Uh, Dr. Albo, could we do a quick debriefing of this case before you leave? We can do it while they're closing, and it'll only take a couple of minutes. Sure thing, Rob, you're right. Okay with you, Dr. Berger, Dr. Shanak? Works for me. Yeah, but I still have to monitor the patient. Of course, and I'll be following our debriefing guideline on the computer. Okay, let's get started. Dr. Albo, how would you rate this case on a one through five scale, with one being poor and five being excellent? Rob, I would give it a four. The case went well, and we accomplished what we set out to do. Okay, any comments about the case? Well, Rob, a couple comments. We were late getting started due to a delay in getting the surgical consent. How come? And another thing, it seemed to take forever for the radiology tech to take the portable film after we requested it. Yeah, we, we were busy in clinic this morning and uh, slow to get the consent. My junior resident and I, I think we had our signals crossed. Right, and we were delayed getting into this room. The case before us went over their time, which pushed us back. That's becoming a habit with that particular service, and I'll ask our nurse manager to adjust their allotted time based upon their recent history of their cases. Okay, what about the delay in getting the film? Yeah, the OR schedule was real busy today, and there were several rooms requesting portable films. Unfortunately, radiology can only give us one tech for the OR. That's been a chronic problem, Rob. What are we doing about it? They've been short-staffed for techs and radiology for a while. Well, I'll tell you what, I will get this on the agenda for the next OR committee, and I will invite the chief of radiology to that meeting. We've got to deal with this problem. Great. I'll alert our nurse manager about your plan. Anything else? No, Rob, that's it. Okay, how about you, Dr. Berger? Rob, I think I'd give it four also, for many of the same reasons that Dr. Albo mentioned. Any other comments? Not really, except I think Cindy and Amy made a really good transition while I was doing the small bowel anastomosis. Thanks, Dr. Berger. You're welcome, Amy. I really appreciate being given a heads up about a change in scrub nurse that doesn't interfere with the conduct of the operation. What about you, Dr. Shanak? Well, I get it three and a half for similar reason already stated with one additional concern. What's that? Rob, at the beginning of the case, when I looked at your workspace at the computer over there, I noticed a lot of paper, including printed labels, left over from the last case before us. Remember the case about a year ago when a surgical specimen was mislabeled for the wrong patient who had been in the room immediately preceding that case? I think these are accidents waiting to happen. We should make it part of our room turnover routine to remove all papers, including labels, from the room. Sal is making an excellent point. My colleagues from other parts of the country have identified this problem of specimen misidentification due to mislabeling. Can we discuss this at our next OR committee meeting? Certainly, Sal. We really need to address this issue. Thanks for bringing it up. And I'll bring this up in the next OR staff meeting. How about you, Amy? I agree with giving this case a four. Overall, I thought it went very well. My only concern was that Rob and I felt a little too pressured to complete our counts. It would help if you could show us some patients until we get through all the counts. I second Amy's concern. We know it's better for patients to complete their operations efficiently, but this is one of the real sources of frustration for surgical nurses. We're just asking for more patience and understanding when we do our counts. It would really help us if you could take a brief pause while we were completing our counts. Yeah, you mean pause for the gauze? <laughs> yeah. Aren't you supposed to do a methodical wound exam before you start closing anyway? That would give us a little more time to complete our counts. Also, the missing lap pad didn't help. Yeah, I guess I could have taken a little more time doing my wound exploration. I'm sorry I was a little short today. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Zero proline. Ed, I realize that you just joined us to help with the closure. Would you like to share any of your opinions about this case, given the short time you've been here? In my opinion, you could upgrade your music a little here. What? You don't like my Cajun country? If a boy from Brooklyn like me can grow to like it, certainly you can. <laughs> He's got a point, David. We've all heard that CD at least 100 times. Zero proline. That'll be the last one. Okay. I've captured all your comments. Were there any safety breaches during the case? Just the paper and labels left over from the previous case. Right. That's an important issue. We'll be discussing that in OR committee. Anything else? Okay. Were there any unanticipated events? The missing lap pad. Yes, which we found on x-ray and removed. Anything else? Well, the patient coming in late to the OR and the delays in getting the x-ray, 
But those are the norm around here, aren't they? Yes, but to be fair, there's another side of this story, and we'll be taking that up with OR committee. Anyone else? Okay. David, would you like to comment on resident supervision? I don't know. Was I supervised? Well, Dr. Alba was here from start to finish and completed his attending note. That was supervised by our definition. And finally, were there any delays agreed upon by the OR team? What does that mean? Was there any delay we all agreed to for reasons of patient safety? For example, if we decided not to start the case until we had the results from the morning's INR or until we had blood set up in the blood bank for the patient. No, there were delays, but none that we had agreed to. Okay, everyone. That will do it for our debriefing. I've captured the action items and will follow through with my nurse manager and later with Dr. Albo for these items. Are there any comments or questions? Yeah, let's get this train moving out of here. I'd give the ICU a heads up that we'll be there in about 30 minutes. Will do, Dr. Berger. Thanks, everyone. Great case.